Welcome to a book's narrated audio narration of the book titled Diary of a CEO. The 33 Laws of Business and Life. Law 29. Create a cult mentality. In this law, Stephen unpacks key themes such as inclusivity and purpose, potential culture pitfalls, inspiration and motivation, community and belonging, alignment of values, cultivating strong cultures, creating shared identity, building a devoted following and much more. Delving into the idea that successful organizations and leaders often cultivate a devoted following that shares a strong sense of identity and purpose. Law 29 delves into eight key points that explore the idea that successful leaders and organizations inspire unwavering loyalty and commitment by fostering a shared identity, strong culture, and alignment of values. Stephen Bartlett draws attention to the fact that when people feel they belong to a community with a clear purpose, they are more likely to be motivated and dedicated to achieving collective goals. Before we dive in, as you're watching this video, we hope you enjoy our content. But over 70% of frequent viewers do not subscribe. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below. Subscribing takes just a moment and helps our channel more than you can imagine. It makes a huge difference and as we get bigger, we're able to bring you even more of the content you love. We have so many exciting ideas planned. We truly appreciate each and every one of our viewers, especially subscribers. Let's get started. Law 29. Create a cult mentality. Dives into the intriguing concept of building an extraordinary culture within businesses, teams, or organizations. This law offers profound insights and captivating anecdotes that not only pique readers' curiosity, but also immerse them in the book's compelling narrative. Bartlett initiates this law by challenging conventional wisdom, introducing the notion of running startups akin to cults, as proposed by Peter Phil. This thought-provoking statement immediately captures every reader's attention, prompting them to delve deeper into the connection between cults and successful businesses. To provide historical context, Bartlett explores the origins of the phrase, drinking the Kool-Aid, through a chilling account of the mass suicide led by Jim Jones, the leader of the People's Temple cult. This dark historical backdrop stockly contrasts with the idea of cultivating a cult mentality within business. Bartlett skillfully juxtaposes cults with modern businesses, emphasizing their fundamental disparities. While cults rely on manipulation and control to stifle independent thought, contemporary businesses thrive on employees' ability to think critically and act autonomously. This stark contrast sets the stage for a thought-provoking exploration of the concept. Drawing from Jim Collins' Built to Last, Bartlett underscores the significance of instilling cult-like commitment to a company's values. Rather than promoting mind control, it's about fostering an unwavering dedication to a shared vision and values among employees, challenging traditional notions of workplace dynamics. Perspectives from prominent figures such as Peter Thiel, inject further depth into the discussion. Thiel's viewpoint that the most successful startups often exhibit cult-like dedication challenges conventional beliefs about workplace dynamics, intensifying readers' intrigue. Bartlett also introduces the four stages of a company's life. Stage 1. Cult. Stage 2. Growth. Stage 3. Enterprise. And Stage 4. Decline. The cult phase, often resembling a zero to one mindset, is where founders invest their all, embracing sacrifice and unwavering commitment to the company's vision. This narrative underscores the pivotal role of the first 10 team members in shaping a company's culture. These individuals, chosen judiciously, become instrumental in defining the company's values and philosophy thereby setting the tone for its future. Bollett explains the key ingredients of a cult, drawing striking parallels between cults and thriving companies. These elements include fostering a sense of community and belonging, sharing a mission, 
having an inspirational leader, and nurturing an osvias, their mentality. Bartlett goes on to provide a pragmatic guide for building a robust company culture. This includes the imperative steps of defining core values, integrating culture into every facet of the organization, and cultivating camaraderie among team members. While the law extols the benefits of a cult-like commitment to values and a shared mission during a startup's nascent stages, it underscores the unsustainability of such an approach in the long run. Cults are depicted as emotionally grueling and ineffective for achieving enduring objectives. Instead, Bartlett advocates the creation of a sustainable culture that supports autonomy, challenge, and psychological safety. Law 29 encourages every reader to embrace a cult-like commitment to values and a shared mission, especially during a venture's early stages. However, it emphasizes the necessity of evolving beyond this cult-like obsession as the company expands. The law's core message revolves around establishing a culture that mirrors these fundamental values, as culture shapes both individuals and the organization itself. Stephen Bottlett's exploration of Law 29 beautifully teases your curiosity, offering a fresh perspective on organizational culture, leadership, and the stages of company growth. It leaves you eager to uncover more of the book's profound insights and wisdom. This concludes our book's narrated audio narration of Diary of a CEO, The 33 Laws of Business and Life. Law 29 create a cult mentality. Our mission at Books Narrated is to empower you to make informed decisions about investing in the full book. So if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more engaging content. If you're already subscribed, thank you. Your support is our motivation to bring you the most engaging and insightful narratives. Access the book directly by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks you for listening.